G'day guys, uh, Mark Lilly from Sydney, Australia here. Just um, wanted to do something a bit different and make a quick video up about my current setups and my helicopters, my two Ray V and V helicopters that I'm flying right now. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do a little video because a lot of people ask me questions about what, it, what I've done to it and what gear's in it, so yeah. Um, both are Nitro, um, both are fly barless, both are running the exact same gear, so both are running the V-Bar for it, I'm a big V-Bar fan. Um, they're both running the Fataba 255HV servos on cyclic and 256HV on the tail, um, directly off the LiPo. Um, I do have a perfect regulators regulator that switches down for the throttle servo, which is a 9254 servo. Um, both are running the OS91 speed motor with the matching Hattori SB21 pipe. That's a, a hardcore motor, a great motor, so I'm going to stick with that one for a while yet. Um, they're running Edge 713 fly barless blades with Edge 105 tails. Um, very good. I did find, I tried 690s on it. Um, I did another video on the Edge 693, the SE blades. Um, and if you watch that, you'd see that I, I think for this helicopter, it has a narrower head, and I find that the 713s are, are more suited to this. Compared to something like a T-Rex 700, which has a wider head, and the 690s suit that more. Um, yeah, now what have I done to make it a bit better? I've done a few things. Um, Basically, a plastic, I put a plastic sleeve in the head block there. Um, I found I was going through dampness too quick, so the plastic sleeve has definitely, definitely made the life of my dampness last a lot longer, so that's a, that's a good little mod. Um, two, and which was a, a good one as well, was the metal bearing blocks. Um, these are off a guy named Paul Johnson on a run rider. Um, you can get them through RC Bits here in Australia, he's got them in stock. These liven the helicopter up for sure, compared to the plastic, original plastic blocks that come with it. Uh, next would be the KDE Direct struts on the back. I found the other ones wore out too quick and you know when you crashed they just fell apart. These last forever. I've, I've crashed this helicopter a few times and I, I'm not having any problems. I've never broken one. So that's a really good thing. So yeah. Um, as for crashing, it's a, a good, everyone crashes. It's a, it's a fact of flying. Um, I, I have crashed this a few times, and it is a very, very strong helicopter. I haven't, I haven't really annihilated it, as, so, to, as so, so to speak, there. Um, the cost of parts is good. It's, it's just a great heli, very underrated helicopter, I think, and it's one of the definitely one of the better flying 90s on the market. Uh, yeah, and that's, that's about it. So, like I said, I thought I'd do something different because everyone kind of writes a list down of what they do to their helis and what they've done and what gear they run. Thought I'll just show people. So, yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching guys and um, if you've got any comments feel free to send me a message or an email. Thanks guys.